In this video, I just wanted to show a couple of upgrades I've made in the last few years to my band's mixer rig. The main difference you can see is I've upgraded from the UI16 to the UI24R mixer. This was mainly for two reasons. One being we needed the additional inputs as the band grew in size, and the other being this model does multi-track recording via USB drive or direct USB connection to laptop, whereas the UI16 only does stereo recording. So as you can see here, we've got the mixer sitting at the bottom of the rack with one U of empty space above it. This gives the mixer the airflow it needs so they can get warm in hotter climates. I've seen people adding fans to their case too, but I've never needed it. It's not really been a problem for me. So we've got the mixer at the bottom, followed by one new vented blanking plate and two wireless IEM units at the top for our singers. Round at the back, you'll see a PDU along the bottom for power, a Raspberry Pi and a USB hub, which I'll get back to later, the antennas at the top for the wireless IEMs, and then another vented blanking plate where I've attached a router. I've made a video showing how to connect an external router to the Soundcraft UI mixers, as the internal ones are known for not being great. However, this router I've added here is much more advanced and definitely not for beginners, so it helps to have some knowledge of networking when setting this up. This is an Edge Router X from Ubiquiti, which is connected on a local network to the mixer, the Raspberry Pi, and a Ubiquiti Unify access point, which sends out the Wi-Fi connection to my iPad. Here's a little diagram showing how the network is all connected with an audio connection from the Pi to the mixer. This is the USB hub and Raspberry Pi. The USB hub is a mains powered model. That's because it's another known issue with the mixer, that sometimes it can freeze up when recording multi-track to USB drive as the USB port can't supply enough power to the memory stick. The way around this is using a powered USB hub, which is powered by the mains instead of the desk. Picked it up on Amazon for about 20 pounds. A bonus to this one is it also powers the Raspberry Pi. Down here in the corner is a power over ethernet injector, which powers the wireless access point. This is also on a retractable ethernet cable so I can place the access point up and away from all these wires and devices to improve the Wi-Fi strength. This is all a very over-engineered method that I've not seen done before, but I was able to figure it all out and get it working properly and it works amazingly well with zero Wi-Fi dropouts. The access point is very powerful and you can see that here for my first test, I was able to walk pretty far from the band before it even dropped down to two bars. So the reason for the Raspberry Pi is that I've set up to be an AirPlay 2 receiver. This means I can play downloaded songs from Spotify on my iPad wirelessly over the network to the mixer. This is great for background music between sets at gigs, and it means I can use my entire Spotify library instead of playing MP3 files direct through the desk's USB port. You can see here that I play a song as normal through Spotify, and I just changed the output from the iPad to AirPlay device Mixer Pi. Note that you'll need Spotify Premium for this, as it does require you to save your songs for offline playback, as the mixer isn't connected to the internet. At the end of the gig, everything packs down within the case. No need to remove or disconnect anything. Ready to plug and play at the next one. And that's my setup. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Links to everything used in the description.